Um, let's talk a little baseball before we close out, Trip. Let's do it. Because as you mentioned, your, your Yankees, they the hottest thing cooking right now. Nine straight games. Unfortunately, today was postponed. Mm-hmm. But they, I mean, they getting everything going, man. Uh, the pitching is coming around. The hitting is coming around. Um, you're closing in on Tampa. You've, you've overtaken Boston for, for a second in the East. Uh, you got a stranglehold on the wild card right now, and you're trying to chase chase down Tampa. This is the Yankee team we expected to see for most of the season, yes. but it looks like they've really clicked over the last couple of weeks. Well, you know, what, what happened was, so early in the season, we got hit by the injury bug, you know, and it's, and it's hard to, you know, when you, you're losing Stanton, Sanchez in and out of the lineup, Judge, and these are your, your, your top guys. And then we got hit hard by COVID. Cold, oh, my goodness. Like, everybody went out. We we just made the trade for Anthony Rizzo, and he went out with <laughs> with the COVID protocols. So now, and shout out to, uh, to, to Brian Cashman. I think he did an amazing job uh, at the trade deadline, bringing in Rizzo and Gallo. Um, you know, the, the Yankees batting order is scary. It is scary, bro. I, you know, be, I, being at the game the other day, you just, and you're looking at the, at the, the names on the board and it's just like, yo, we got some hitters in that lineup. Like, I think this is, this is the team, you know, like you said, that, that was projected to be a world series contender at the beginning of the season. They are finally clicking at the right time. Uh, hopefully we can get Severino back, but you know, the pitching has been, been really well over the past couple of weeks. The bats have been, have been moving. I'm really liking what I'm saying. And they are the hottest thing in baseball right now, looking to take that division. Um, I, you know, and I, and I just think, I, you know, cause sports is about that momentum. You know, I think they may even be able to take that, take that, uh, that division. I know it's going to be, it's going to be tough because they got a lot of games to go, but I, I love what the Yankees are doing. You know, I just, I want them to, I want them to get the division just because I don't want them to have to lose a rotation uh, pitcher playing in a wild card game. So that's really my whole thing, but I think they can do it. I'm looking forward to it, man. Yeah. yeah. They, they got hot and, and you highlighted that, that, uh, the moves that they made at the trade deadline, I think, sparked everything for them. Yes. Um, adding those left-handed power bats. Uh, and by the way, Rizzo is a great defensive first baseman as well. Gallo's no shaft, no, no, no slouch in the outfield as well as a defensive glove. But um, that that really changed everything for them. They're, they're hot. It's going to be tough to catch Tampa because I think Tampa's a very good team and might be the best team in the American League. But nonetheless, the Yankees are in the mix. The Mets, on the other hand, they they fallen off a little bit. Um, right now they they got a big win today. Javi Baez came back. They're still waiting for Lindor. The news on Degrom isn't good. He's probably still going to be out for another three to four weeks. Um, they put him on a sixty day IL, but that's retroactive to the time that he was originally put on, so he won't be eligible to come back probably to the second week in September. But the Mets are in trouble. Let's let's call it what it is. They get an opportunity to get fat now that they come back home. Um, they got a three game set with the Giants, and then they have something like I think uh, fifteen games against the Nationals and Marlins, who are two of the worst teams in the National League. So they have an opportunity to get back in it, but they got to get healthy, man. I mean, uh, Conforto missed time this year, and he's he's been bad. Lindor's been out for two months at this point. DeGrom's been out for about two months. Like I said, they just got Javi Baez back. They've got to figure this thing out pretty quickly to get back in the race, man. And, and that's the thing. Like, literally, you know, what we saw with the Yankees is, is what can happen with the Mets. But it is, it's about that health. You guys, especially your top guys, have to be on the on on the field. You know, especially when you when you're talking about Jacob DeGrom, you know, who 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 may even be the best pitcher in baseball uh right now. That's a huge loss to not have him in your in your rotation. You know, and then when you when you when you look at the 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 big hitters that are, are missing as well, but you you know, like you said, they do have a good a uh, 15 game stretch where they got a lot of, you know, the, 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 the bottom teams. They so got, they yeah. have a chance, you know, get back into the wild card, man. Just, just get back into the wild card race and, you know, and, and make it to the playoffs. Once you win, man, you win. Yeah. That's what you got to do. You got to, you got to get yourself in the race and then make those last two weeks of the season competitive at that point. Like you said, cause then at that point you expect the ground to be back. You expect to be healthy and you take your chances, but you got to at least give yourself a shot, man. Um, Before we transition off of baseball as well, we got to give a major shout out to Miguel Cabrera. 
one of the most feared right-handed hitters in all of baseball during his time in the game. Mm-hmm. He joined the 500 home run club today. Uh, a guy who himself the last couple of years has dealt with some injuries. But if you know, you know. And early Miguel Cabrera, yes. he was like a young Manny Ramirez out there winning. He won a World Series with the Marlins. He played another World Series that he lost with Detroit. Phenomenal player before the injuries hit. But 500 home runs solidifies his spot in, in Cooperstown. So Facts. shout out to him. Facts, yeah. Facts. He's, he's definitely going going into the hole. Um, you know, that, that 500 mark, that's different. That's different. I put you in the upper echelon uh, of, of, of hitters right there in, in baseball. And that pushes you up the rank because in baseball, we, you know, we definitely put a lot on home runs, over home run there. So that definitely pushes you up a little bit. Uh, congratulations on 500, man. Yes, sir. Yes. What the fuck? This is your African King's coming, Michael Blackson. You watching real friends, real talk. Get real with it, my son. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought. Real 